This is the world's largest pistachio. So excited. I will go ahead and get this out of the way. I don't like pistachios. I don't understand. You love every nut you love. Peanuts, you were getting walnuts. ready to say you love nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you love love the nuts. You love all the nuts. You macadamia, walnut. But for some reason, God. pistachio is just not my favorite. I mean, I'm, I I will eat it. It's not like I won't like hurl if I eat a pistachio. You gag every time I'm cracking shells. It's because it's my least favorite nut. <laughs> I don't understand. It's so phenomenal. So let the great debate begin. <laughs> Leave us a comment. Let us know if you like pistachios. If you do like pistachios, let us know your favorite way to eat them. If you just like eating them plain, or if you like them on there's brittle some, or now. ice cream or yeah. baked goods, muffins, pistachios, all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, I would even argue, because I have before with somebody, that the already unshelled ones taste different than the ones that you take out of the shell yourself. I wouldn't know pistachios well enough to know that. <laughs> I know you wouldn't. I do though. Um, we're getting ready to go on a tour. They have yeah. tours here that you can go tour the grounds where all the pistachios are grown and harvested and they they take you uh, and tell you about the harvesting process and I don't know what all is involved with it but it sounds pretty cool. I can't wait to go back into the store because I only bought the tickets and came back out but they got candies made out of it. They got brittles. They've got ice cream. It's just it's my pure heaven. I'll try it. I'll try some <laughs> of the stuff but not nearly as excited about pistachio <laughs> so land excited. as you are. Drove an hour just for this. I'm so excited. The nuttiest <laughs> place in New Mexico <laughs> and the nuttiest nut about yeah, pistachios. Right. So um, we'll see what the tour is all about. Alrighty. Well, we just finished up on a tour. Very interesting stuff. Very interesting. I did not know what you just mentioned. Yes. And only the females have nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. Only the female trees have yes. nuts. <laughs> the male trees. But they say there's one male pollinate. tree for every 25 female trees. Yeah, and they strategically place all the male trees on one side of the orchard or vineyard or whatever it's called yeah the orchard that the way, way the wind when the wind hits it pollinates all the oh, female trees yeah very, very interesting, interesting stuff um what else um they did some filming out here that surprised me that famous people have been here and some movies have been filmed out in the either whether it was the the winery part or the orchard part yeah ozzy osborne and his family came down here the, they closed the facility for them so they could roast the their own pistachios here. yeah very interesting that was stuff interesting. um here's my question okay uh -huh. and i looked up the answer but i i didn't know until i actually looked it up as to why pistachios were dyed red and so when you got done eating the pistachios, it looked like you robbed a bank yeah. and the ink thing blew up on your hands. <laughs> See, I had no idea. You're literally caught red-handed eating them. So when I was a kid, my brother used to love pistachios and eat pistachios all the time. And they were always the red ones. And he always yeah. had these red fingers. Yeah. I never understood why they were dyed red. But now I do because I looked it up. Yeah. Pistachios were largely not produced in the United States back in the 70s and 80s. They were imported because there were just weren't very many pistachio trees in the United States. Correct. Well, when they imported it, they had flaws and stains on the shells, so they would dye the, the shells red to hide all hide the imperfections it. to make those pistachios more uh, um, invitable yeah. to the consumer. Mm -hmm. So that's why they used to be red. And that's why you don't see red ones anymore. No. Because all of the pistachios that you see like in the grocery store, most of them came from California. Yeah. Yeah, what'd you say, like 98% yeah. come from California. And there, there's no need to stain them anymore. Yeah. So you won't see the red pistachios anymore. I found it interesting too that um, it takes eight years before it'll produce nuts. Tree, yeah. Tree's gotta be eight years old first. That's a long time to wait for some that nuts. That is a long time. I love, I, of course it's not summertime right now, but they sell pistachio trees. Yeah. 
in the in the summer you have you, to be in a location we, where you can we would yes have to be permanent somewhere yeah. to let one grow but like that's gonna be my mission now when yeah. we're, when all this is Own said a and done and we tree. settle down somewhere <laughs> i'm getting a pistachio tree. another fun fact one of these trees can produce 45 pounds of pistachios in a season yeah that that's a lot of pistachios for one of these trees because these yeah. trees are not very big. No, these, yeah. And these you can are see, I'll go stand next to one. Pretty full grown. And, um, you know, I'm six foot tall, so it's not a ginormous tree, but um, this guy will put out 45, this gal, gal. will put out Sorry. 45 pounds of nuts <laughs> in a season. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, so, yeah, very interesting stuff. It was a really cool tour. It was about 15, 20 minutes. It only cost, what, a couple bucks a person? Three dollars a person. Definitely worth to it. To go through the orchard. Uh, so, now we're going to go inside. We're going to see all the pistachio stuff that they have. All their stuff is fresh. They um, make their own candies. Make their own wines. Wine. We saw some of the vineyards yeah. out there on the tour. They grow their own grapes. And there's make a their own German wine. wine that comes off the vineyard, too. Yeah, so very cool. Um, we'll take you inside and see what all we can get into and sample. Oh, yes. Definitely <laughs> sample. sample the brittle are you gonna sample the brittle yeah okay. mm. no I'm not a brittle fan no so it's just funny because I'm not a brittle fan but I like pistachios when I try it you don't care for pistachios but you're a brittle fan yes Put us together. And we're we love it. We're fans. Yeah. <laughs> we need a dentist after it. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. I got one with a big chunk of pistachio in it yeah. too. Good. That's very brave of me. Mm, yeah. My hero. It's very brittly. It is brittly. It's very good though. Yeah, good. You want a last piece? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. No, that's it. Good. Yeah, it's good. What you eating? Nuts. Yeah. <laughs> They're so good. What kind is it? Um, this is just regular roasted and salted. Mm. I'm gonna work my way through. Okay. <laughs> There's all the samplers right there. Crank it. Break it. Crank it. All right, cinnamon. I can smell the cinnamon. Cinnamon pistachios. It's no subtle. reaction. It's subtle. Yeah. I thought it was going to be like in your face. Let me try one. It's very subtle. Mm. Nevertheless, still good. Mm. It's all right. I haven't had a bad nut yet. Mm. <laughs> what you got? I have the um, cocoa roasted pistachios because I don't like pistachios, but I, you add chocolate to anything. It's instantly better. And it's good. It makes it tolerable. <laughs> I'm sure it makes it phenomenal. Mm, these nuts are so good. Mm -hmm. I got you on film saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you admiring this big nut sack. I, I was. <laughs> you think you could eat that many? Absolutely. Yeah. I Don't could... your fingers get like Are sore? sore Absolutely. All these. It is so worth it. Why didn't you just buy the shelled ones? You said they taste I, different. They do to me. Yeah. These are better? Yes, and the shell's better. And go ahead and get another bag or two. <laughs> and then I think we'll be good. All right. Not enough? Yeah. 
<laughs> What's better than one nut sack? Two nut sacks. <laughs> well, it's 45 degrees outside, so yeah. why not eat ice cream? It's only natural. <laughs> I got um, sea salt caramel because, again, I don't like pistachios. And I, although I would like to try the pistachio ice cream, I'll probably try yours. What, yeah. Yours is what? Mine is pistachio almond. Pistachio almond. Yeah. So, a couple different types of nuts you got there going on. <laughs> yes, I mix my nuts. <laughs> Um, so I'll probably try yours, but I wasn't brave enough to get it on my own in case I didn't like it because yeah. I know I like sea salt caramel. You love sea it's salt It's good. Um, this was a fun place, man. Yeah, it was. See? I was not really looking that forward to it because it was all pistachios. Yeah. But I had a good time. <laughs> Learned a lot about pistachios. Yeah. Learned a lot about this place. Mm -hmm. And they have a lot of stuff. It's very cool. Yeah. We even found a gift for your mom for her birthday. I did. It's very cool. <laughs> it's not a pistachio anything uh, So I guess it was worth the hour drive to go to the pistachio it land. Is. I would love to come here during the summer. Yeah, because in the summertime, all of the trees are like full of leaves. They're like getting ready to be harvested. Yeah, would like, she say August is when they yeah, harvest them? Yeah, full of pistachios. That would be cool to see. Yeah. But it was cool to see anyway. Machines cool to go on shake the them tour. off. Yeah. But um, anyway. We're going to sit here and freeze our butts off <laughs> and eat this ice cream. Yes. Um, oh, oh. oh, man. Oh. See, this is why. How is it even melting? It's freaking. <laughs> no, no, that's why I'm a little thrown. Golly. Anyway, um, we mm. hope you enjoyed it. Is it good? Let me yeah. taste it. I got to find a nut. <laughs> <laughs> got to find you a nut. You just want to put some nuts in my mouth. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't taste like pistachio. You no. would like it. Yeah, it is good. Yeah. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed hanging out with us at Pistachio Land. <laughs> if you're in the area, we definitely recommend coming by. Absolutely. Uh, if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. Stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you watching. See you next time. <laughs> Bye.